Hello everyone, I'm Richard Conway uh, from Dublin, Ireland, and I'm reporting from ACR 2020. I'm going to talk to you um, about an abstract which was presented in uh, the late breaking abstract session, um, abstract L06, presented by Dr. Sid and colleagues. And this abstract was looking at Mavrolimumab in giant cell arteritis. It was a phase two study. So Mavrolimumab is an anti-GMCSF receptor alpha monoclonal antibody. So it inhibits uh, GMCSF. Um, and this um, it has theoretical advantages in giant cell arthritis because this is attacking the pathogenesis of giant cell arthritis at a very proximal stage in that pathway. So you get more bang for your book, theoretically, if you do this, you uh, can interrupt the, the pathway with a lower dose of treatment potentially and have fewer side effects um, due to that and more comprehensively address uh, the underlying disease rather than trying to address uh, the consequences further down. There's another advantage in that the, our pathogenic model of giant cell arthritis um, focuses on two different T cell pathways, uh, T helper one cells, which are believed to be responsible for the ischemic manifestations, such as vision loss and stroke, and then T helper 17 cells, which are believed to be responsible uh, for um, the elevated inflammatory markers, polymyalgia rheumatica, and the systemic symptoms of joint cell arthritis. And a lot of our existing treatments focus mainly on the TH17 pathway. Um, and while that's great in that it makes patients feel better, um, it potentially doesn't fully address the really bad complications that can happen with giant cell arthritis. So this was a phase two study um, of Mavrolimumab. Uh, there were 70 patients um, included with giant cell arthritis. Uh, half of those had new onset giant cell arthritis and half had relapsing giant cell arthritis. And the authors looked at um, outcomes at week 26. Um, the primary outcome was flare at week 26, and that was seen um, in 19% uh, of patients in the Mavrolimumab group and 46.4% 46 of patients in the placebo group. The time to flare was also significantly less in the Mavrolimumab group. So this study gives us a potential new option in giant cell arthritis. Tocilizumab has set the bar very high in giant cell arthritis, but it doesn't work for every patient. Um, it's either not suitable for some or it's ineffective uh, for some as well. And we do need um, other treatment options um, available to us. And while this is early data, it's only a phase two study and this agent will go on to, to further uh, study. Um, it is an exciting new option. Uh, so thank you. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Richard P.A. Conway and tune into Room Now uh, for more updates from ACR 2020.